Hello, welcome back to my tech farm. I'm Igor and approximately a year ago or even more I started that video series where I was testing compared 16 different PLA brands. In first part it was the unboxing and analyzing the spool. In second part it was the printability and the temperature tower. And uh, immediately after that I printed this test objects, uh, four from each brand. Uh, two are for the tensile test and two for the layer tension test, uh, which are printed in vertical position. And the smallest cross section area is 4 by 4 millimeters. But somehow I lost the motivation because uh, this is quite big work. Uh, I mean, I have here 64 test objects and uh, with the, my current equipment I need at least 3 or 4 minutes before I change and, and prepare everything for the new pulling test. In the meantime I decided to finish this experiment. I even uh, created some kind of uh, quick change holder so it will be a little bit faster. I understand that these set objects are now more than one years old but at least I can uh, test more real life situation. Uh, because uh, theoretically this is what I'm more curious about, uh, what is their strength after half or one years and not immediately after the printing. Theoretically there shouldn't be a big difference, see? but this is comparison test. I have here six different brands, they are printed in the same time, so they are all uh, one year old test objects and now it's time to see their strength. I don't want this video to be too boring, but I want to show you every printing and uh, pulling test, but I will try to speed up as much as possible. But if you uh, want to see only the results, you can jump to this timestamp and then let's see together those uh, numbers. Let's see the printing. The first brand is CD Active and don't worry, I will show you detailed only the first objects. CD printing time is approximately 1 hour and 10 minutes for these four objects. And vertical test specimens uh, have this support which I have to cut off. And then I place the test objects into box with the name of the brand on the piece of paper. Everyone, Sunlow, Amazon Basics, Isan Silk, GTEC, Gamebird. BQ, 3DEE, 3DQF, TechBears, PolyPlus, Overture, Azure Film, Pulsament, Hedgebox. I'm starting with vertically printed objects. And to make the layer adhesion test faster, I decided not to use the chain force, but uh, my own force. I'm not Skyworker, but uh, I can produce at least 1.1 uh, kN force, at least here on Earth. I hope somebody will understand what this means. May the force be with you. I is the force. And the power of it is. 3D active. Everyone, Sunlow, Amazon Basics, Isan Silk PLA, GTEC, Gamebird. BQ, three DEE, three DQF, Tech Bears, another silk filament, <laughs> Poly Plus, Over Two. Azure film, Prusament, Hedgebox. <laughs> this was quite good exercise and let's take a closer look. Well, each test subject broke correctly on the smallest cross section area. 
Evo vamo tamo closer look. And now the polling test, these test subjects are printed in horizontal position and 4 by 4 mm is the smallest cross section area. And now the test side test and here I am expecting a little bit bigger pearls, so I have used the chain hoist. It's really active. Everyone? Amazon Basics E Sun Silk G Tech Game Bird PQ 3D EE 3D QF Tech Bears Poly Plus Overture Azure Film Plus cement. Hedge box. And finally they are all broken. An interesting thing I noticed when they don't broke on the smaller cross section area, like this one, or this one, or this one, in that case uh, they have a weaker layer adhesion. And in case you want to take a closer look, Now let's analyze the results in this Excel table, which is downloadable from mytechfun.com website. Uh, let's start with the layer adhesion. Uh, here we can see the average of two tests, and I saw them from the strongest to the weakest. Uh, basically, everything which is above 20 kg is acceptable, above 30 is good, above 40 is very good. Uh, so basically only these three filaments, I noticed the silk filaments uh, are usually a little bit weaker, maybe they require a little bit higher temperatures. Uh, everyone is uh, not silk, but I noticed I got the same results when I separate them in a different video. And basically this is their weakest filament, so they have PLA plus and PTG and it, they were much stronger. About the tensile and pooling test, again I sort them uh, from the strongest to the weakest and usually uh, my experience is that uh, PLA should break on approximately 55 megapascals, that's uh, around approximately above 90 kilograms. So basically we have a few filaments which are a little bit weaker here and I notice when they have a weaker layer adhesion, usually they perform bad uh, in this tensile pooling test. Well, I thought the measuring would be the boring part, but actually the video editing and the data processing was even longer. But everything is finished now, and what I learned from this uh, data is that uh, most of these PLA filaments have similar tensile strength, uh, except for those which have a weaker layer adhesion, because that affects the tensile strength too. About that weaker layer adhesion, I noticed that silk or similar to silk filaments has a weaker layer adhesion. Maybe I should raise the temperature there, but uh, basically uh, I use not only the same printer, but also the same G-code with all these test objects. 
and uh, I know it's not fair to use silk filaments, but for example with Isan, I had at that time only that uh, silk filament, but for, uh, since that I already test their PLA plus, which is great filament with this very strong layer adhesion, for example. Also from the Airy one, the PLA is a little bit weaker, but the PLA plus and uh, PETG was much stronger. Now, I hope I can get some help uh, from you by sharing this video because I will be very disappointed if this big work will be stuck with two or three thousand views. And uh, if I notice that uh, this is a little bit more popular video and uh, viewers like to see something similar, uh, I would like to prepare some kind of comparison uh, with PETG. I already have uh, almost 10 different PETG brands and um, I'm asking, what are you curious? Why would you like to use PTG instead of the PLA? For example, me, the only reason is the temperature resistance, because the PLA uh, object will deform if I left it inside the car on, for example, a hot summer day. So for that, definitely a PTG is a better choice. So one of the tests I would like to compare is the temperature resistance. Maybe after this, uh, the layer adhesion comparison would be also uh, useful and I don't know what else or what is your opinion uh, let me feel like in the comment section too and thank you for watching and happy printing